I think the one universal thing that we try to help businesses understand is sometimes when they first sit down to create a video, they're thinking of it like a story or, you know, like they should, like they should from kind of beginning, middle, and end. But what we say is don't save the best for last, you know, because this is not like a captive audience in a movie theater where you know they're going to be sitting there still at the end of your movie. Um, save the best for first. So whatever it is, your most interesting video clip or video clips or photo or, or message or tagline, put that up front and really try to hook people in. Hey, I'm Joe Connolly with Jason Shao, the founder of a cool new video production company called Animoto, which Amazon has invested in, by the way. We'll get to that. But first of all, Jason, what does Animoto do? So uh, Animoto is a, it's a tool, it's a super simple tool that allows, a, a drag and drop tool that allows folks to create beautiful professional looking videos. Now, so it's all online and while we have a number of different types of people using uh, Animoto, where we are seeing a lot of uh, momentum and where we're most excited about is small businesses using video, uh, primarily on social media. Uh, what we're really kind of seeing and hearing is that it's just becoming increasingly important and critical for businesses to find ways to use video to communicate their message online. So Animoto does for them what they cannot do or cannot do well now? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a video creation tool. So there is some you know, work involved on, uh, you know, on the user's end of things. But really what we wanted to do is kind of take all the complex um, editing, uh, you know, all the things that require expertise out of it. Um, where they can literally just drag and drop some of their content in and get something, you know, beautiful out of it. And so Animoto puts it all together for them. Exactly, yeah. In a way that the user instructs, or does Animoto come up with different ideas and different approaches? Well, I think one of the, uh, that's a good question. One of the things that um, I think has made us uh, really valuable for our our customers is that we have a whole set of what we call storyboards. They're basically kind of like pre-built video templates. And one of the things that we've done over the years is we just study thousands and thousands and thousands of videos out um, in the wild and really try to understand uh, what works, what doesn't, what's successful, what, um, what's a waste of time, you know. And we have constructed these storyboards that, you know, that suit different needs of businesses. So if they don't know the type of video they want to create, they can just open a storyboard and literally just kind of drag and drop and replace some of their content, tweak some of the messages, add their logo, hit a button, and they have a video all ready to go. So as simple as that. How long a video? Well, you know, there's all... People ask me that a lot, and I, I, I tend not to uh, try to say there's an exact video length that people should um, subscribe to. Online, you know, people's attention span is getting increasingly short. But what I like to say is if your content is relevant, people will watch as long as they want to or need to. So, you know, typically on online, if you're just trying to catch someone's attention, people are creating videos as short as like 15 or 20 seconds. Um, but if there's something important that you know your audience really cares about, I mean, heck, it can be three, four, five, ten minutes long if it needs to. What's popular on social are all these kind of um, how-to videos, you know, whether it's in the kitchen or in your home or whatever. And a great way to hook people in the beginning is to actually show what it looks like, the final, you know, show what it looks like at the end, how delicious that cheesecake is or how amazing that renovation is or how, um, you know, beautiful your bakery goods, your cupcake or your wedding cake is. And then you kind of go back and show, you know, how you made it. Also on mobile, uh, a lot of people actually don't watch, it sounds weird, but they don't watch the video with sound. So you have to think about, well, if 90% if of people are watching this and not actually being able to listen to it, how do I make sure I can still convey my message? So it's using text or using captions, being very thoughtful about um, you know, the, the message you're trying to use in words. How did you get Amazon to invest in Animoto? 
how did you even get somebody to answer the phone at Amazon? How did you get through to them? Uh, good question. Well, let's see. Early on at Animoto, kind of one of our one of the interesting aspects of when we were getting started is we we literally locked ourselves in a room for like a year to figure out if this technology was possible, how you can automatically create you know, videos that are perfectly orchestrated with everything that you're given. Um, once we emerged from this room, we're like, this can really work, and we were really excited about the possibilities of this. We had one kind of computer in the closet. We're like, okay, well, we know how to make one video work, but what happens if five people or 10 people or 100 people start using this at the same time? There's no way that this computer in the closet can keep up. And we're like, well, we could go to the store and try to buy 10 more computers, but I mean, when we release this, it could be used by thousands of people. So what we, this was about the same time that all this talk of cloud computing came along. And Amazon um, was really on the forefront of basically cloud computing, not just cloud computing where you can store stuff, but cloud computing where you can actually, where they have uh, you know, uh, computer processors that you can use. For us, we're, we're rendering these videos from scratch thousands of videos. So we need the ability to, whether we're creating 50 at any given moment or 1,000 at any moment, we need the capacity to be able to render these videos um, you know, exactly when someone needs them. Is this going, you became a customer of Amazon and that's how they yeah. came to be an so investor in your business? We were a very early wow. user of Amazon and we were showing exactly kind of the story that they wanted to showcase, which was, as a small business, it doesn't make sense for any small business to invest hundreds of thousands of dollars in computer equipment. Let us do that. You worry about your business. So we started doing that, and we, there was one week where we scaled from like 50, they call it instances, but 50 computers to 5,000 in one week. And they but, noticed this? Oh yeah, and then they're like, well, this, this is great. We're not, only, we're not only going to invest, but Jeff Bezos then, went around showing our story as part of the, you know, the, their AWS, uh, you know, and, and the, 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 the graphs are really compelling. It's like we scaling from this to this and down and up. And they drag and drop their photos and videos yep. onto Animoto. Yep. Now let's just say that they're an accountant okay. and they don't have much in the way of visuals. Can you help them get interesting videos or pictures or graphics to go onto their video to yeah. Can you, do you do that? If they, if they need to, I mean, what we usually encourage, especially companies where it might not be obvious what the yeah. visual might be, is um, we, we, we ask them to think about, well, what already works in your marketing, right? Or in the way that you sell yourself. So for someone like, a, say, a lawyer or a tax accountant, we might say, well, if someone to uh, ask you or, you know, if you were to sit down with a, a new prospect, what would you tell them how are you different what would you say and that me there's already a certain kind of message or point of differentiation that already works and when you can capture that message then everything else falls into place and and interestingly we're actually seeing more and more videos just use text they don't even necessarily need to include you know video but um, I, I remember having talking to a, a, a lawyer once who was like well what am I supposed to show I'm a lawyer like that's the most boring I was like, well, you really care about your family and you love your dog. Um, in fact, that's actually you know, why I became interested in, in, you know, in, in using you. And so I think people like stuff they can relate to. So I encouraged him to kind of show, well, what makes him different? And for him, he chose that he's a, a family man, you know, has three kids, has a dog. Um, and I think that really worked for him. So I, but I, just, I think it's whatever you might actually tell someone, how are you different? Um, you know, why you, and start to start there. And then I think the visuals, if needed, will, come, will um, stem from that. Very interesting. Um, is Animoto a subscription or a per-use service? Tell us about your, the business of your business. So it's a subscription business. Um, we have a monthly and an annual plan. And uh, we also have a, a free trial. Um, but basically, it's the idea of that is we really believe that um, video is a form of communication, right? And it's not this what we try to um, what we try to uh, convey is that video is not this one-time marketing item on your you know on your marketing checklist of you know to-do items. 
video is something that you need to regularly be doing. And so for us, a subscription business makes sense if we really think that people should be uh, regularly using video.